I love you too. Hi, Miss Beautiful Beauty. I love your channel. I have watched a lot of your videos and I like your reviews on a lot of shows. But I had to come and talk about this one. Excuse me, I'm turning this teeth down. I am from North Carolina and this topic touches close to home about the Fantasia show because I don't I know people see stuff from the outside and they make their opinions from what they see from their visual of the outside and what it looks like on the outside but this is family and like honestly no lie my hand to God all of that her grandmother Catherine was my granddaddy's brother's wife and he passed away so that is my aunt by marriage and Fantasia is my cousin on my granddaddy's side because that is his niece and I've been to her grandma's house a lot when I was little I haven't been back since like I don't know 07 or whatever the thing with reality TV shows and when I found out that she was coming out with a show is that it, it was going to generate a lot, a lot of negative things and not really show a lot of the positive things that she's done and the influence that she's had on her family. I don't know what is going on with her brother. I personally didn't watch the show because I thought it was going to be a hot mess and I, I knew something was just going to go down and people were going to be like, oh, you know, let me judge. But she she does all the stuff she does for her family because like anybody else who does anything to their family, they love their family. And I think that the show, at least the first show, could have been done more tastefully and that a lot of the, the family things wouldn't have been shown, but then it wouldn't be a reality show. It wouldn't really show their true life um, aspect of what's going on in her life between her and her close family members. Of course, she's not going to tell her family no. As well, if the, if the tables were turned, I know if any of the other YouTubers um, were in that um, spot in life where they had made it big and they had the money of course you're going to take care of your family of course you're going to be like it is what it is and of course it will be hard on you because you're carrying the weight of the whole family essentially or at least your close family I can't say um, that it's not productive that her brother doesn't have a job because it's not he's too old to be just sitting around and I guess that's that's where it comes back to I mean, it's real life, real things that happen that all of us have seen happen in our own lives. But because it's someone in the public now, and some sort of, a, I don't know, a celebrity, um, they make it their business to say, oh, she could do this, or oh, she could do that, or oh, all she needs to do is kick him out in this, but it's a reality show. At the end of the day, it don't matter what nobody say. I don't know, it just, it pisses me off. Not only because she family. It pisses me off because a lot of people gave not only her crap now about the show. And it's just one episode. But then you can say the same thing with Keisha Cole. It's real. But it's like, the time you put it on there, people step out of being like, Oh, she's a good artist. Let's look at her as being an artist to, oh, now, why her mama don't got a job? Or, why her brother, he's sitting at the house? When, if you think about it, she was just a regular person and she had a good job, and the people still would be doing that, what would people say then? I don't know. Views might be a little different, because then it's just a regular person. But she was a regular person before this. 
You just have to let them realize that somebody can sing. It's a mess. It's a hot mess. It's a hot, hot mess. And I hate when people judge. And I hate when people want to give their views on something that if you was there, views may be different. But since you're just being an outsider, seeing what's going on the inside, it's easier to judge. I don't know. I like to take up for others. Especially family. Because you don't know the whole story. You see one thing, but you don't know what happens when the camera shut off and people go home. And she got a strong support group. Yes, she's tired of carrying the weight. I can believe it. That she's probably really, really tired of carrying the weight. And then she wished that she didn't have to carry the weight. But dang, you know, I wouldn't want nobody to come into a regular person's house, you know, regular person's house, and be like, dog, well, your husband need to do this, and dog, your family need to do that, and you carrying a lot of burden on you because of this. People ain't going to do that. They're going to be just like, oh, she going through something right now. Hmm, it's a mess. Person I wouldn't have done a reality show. But because she did, and she kept it 100, as we do in North Carolina, <laughs> maybe something positive come out of this and people stop being so negative about it. Hopefully, something come out positive. So, that is my view on the subject. And I guess I am kind of biased. A little bit. Because she's family. But, oh well, anybody else would have stepped up and been like, Oh, no, you didn't say that about my camp, but all I can say is I agree with a lot of your points. I agree that he needs to get up off his behind and get a job. He grown. It's time out for uh, having a hand out. It's time for a hand up. And I hope it changes. I hope the show goes in a better way than just being talk of the town or embarrassment to anyone. But it's being real, so how can you really be embarrassed? I don't know. Before you say, this is what you do, this is what you do. Think about what you would do if you was in her shoes. And that's all. Love your channel. This is.